Hi, I'm April Walker. I'm a house supervisor here at Ermac. I've been a nurse for 18 years. Probably like you, I've heard it all, seen it all, done it all. Being a nurse a long time, my words and actions don't always come across as intended. That's what this video is all about. Part of the patient experience initiative. Say this, not that, project. You'll watch our patient and their family members hear our words and our tone and see our body language and actions and sometimes in ways we probably aren't proud of. We filmed in certain areas of the hospital and used employees that volunteered to help with this project. The actions and words portrayed represent all departments and all job functions. What are you here for? My wife's been having abdominal pain and been throwing up. What's her name? Susie Smith. Do you have any insurance? Yes. Well, if you just want to have a seat, they'll get to you. Thanks. How can I help you today? My wife's been having some abdominal pain and throwing up. Sorry to hear that. What's your name? Susie Smith. Do you have an insurance card and a driver's license I can get from you? Sure. And process that through. Thank you so much. And you can go and have a seat and they should be right with you. Is there anything else I can get you? I have an emesis bag here. It would help. Yeah. You bet. There you are. You bet. Oops, this one's still dirty. Looks like we forgot to clean that one. Let's find a different one. Oh, I'm sorry, this room's not ready. We have another room just down the hall. So what's your problem today? Uh, my stomach has been hurting a lot. I've been throwing up all day. I can't keep anything down. Do you take any pain medications? Um, I take uh, two Lortab four to six times a day. Um, for back pain, but it doesn't seem to be helping my stomach at all. Do you really take that much? Alright, so the doctor's ordered a CAT scan and some labs, and labs really take a long time, so you're going to be here for a while. Can, can I have some water? No, you can't have anything to eat or drink. You're MPO. Hello, my name's Jim. I'm going to be your emergency room nurse today. What do you prefer to be called? Susie. All right, Susie, I understand you're having abdominal pain today. Yeah, it's been hurting since this morning. I've been throwing up all day. I can't keep anything down. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you take any medications at home, including pain medication? I um, take two Lortab every four to six hours for back pain, but it doesn't seem to be helping my stomach at okay. all. Okay, let me confirm this. So you take Lortabs too every four to six hours as you need that for back pain. Okay, I also see on here where the physician has ordered a CAT scan and some lab work based on your symptoms. So somebody from lab will be in to draw your blood and a transporter will be over to take you over to CAT scan. Can I have some water? Right now, based on your abdominal pain and we need more information, so we don't want you to eat or drink anything. On the offside chance that you may have to have a procedure, if you were to eat or drink, it could delay your care. So, I'm going to give you a call light. Excuse me, sir. If you need anything at all, just be sure to hit your call light and we'll come in, okay?
Hey, did you see who's in room 25? No. Who? Crazy Annie's back. Again? I'm so sick and tired of taking care of her. It seems like I'm the only one that can handle their mood swings, so every time it comes up, ooh, they call me. I wish someone would step up every once in a while. I heard the funniest thing about Annie the other day. Oh, really? I'm ready for something juicy. Hey, I just saw who was in room 25. I'm taking care of that room today, but I know you and her have had a connection in the past. Would you mind taking care of her and I'll watch over one of your other patients? No, that will be fine. I'll be happy to. Um, but first, let me tell you about the funniest thing that happened the other day. Hey, hold that thought. I want to hear what you have to say. Let's talk about it at lunch. Okay, that sounds good to me. Hi, hon. I'm your transporter. Are you Susie? Yeah, I'm Susie Smith. Good. Oh, oh, is this for the CT scan? Yes, yeah, this is for CT. Oh, do you, do you know, will the CT scan hurt? I don't know, hun, but I'm just here to push you around, okay? Oh, uh, you don't know what they do there. Hi, I'm Carolyn. I'm here to take you down to CT. And your full name? Um, Susie Smith. Right, I'll help you in the chair. Do you know what is going to happen? Um, you're having abdominal pain, so you are going to take you a CT scan. Oh, that's right. They said that this would need to happen. That's right. I remember. Sir, we're all done with the scan now. You can go and be with your wife. This looks really bad. That does look bad. I need to go tell Dr. White. Sir, we're all done with the scan now. You can go and be with your wife. This image looks really fuzzy. That does look fuzzy. Let me see if Dr. White wants us to repeat this. Well, looks like you're getting admitted. You're going to have to wait here until the room's ready. They're really busy upstairs and all the rooms are dirty. So as soon as something's available, they'll come and get you. Where am I going? Not sure. Well, Susie, the doctors would like to admit you to the hospital to get you better before going home. We're going to be placing you on the fourth floor where we have great nurses and doctors to take care of you. A transporter and tan scrubs will be here within about 30 minutes to take you upstairs. Do you have any questions? I did have one question. I was just wondering about the results. All the transporters are busy. I guess I'm going to have to take you upstairs. Oh my gosh, did you hear about that? <laughs> oh, I mean, yes, oh, yeah, oh my gosh, I thought. Oh crazy. my gosh. <laughs> oh, good grief. I'm not going to do that again. Oh. Hey, how was your weekend? Okay, it was way too short. I was hoping to get some time off, but I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. I know what you mean. That's the way it is around this place. They never think of our needs. It's another day in paradise. Hope the elevators are working today. Hey Susie, all the transporters are busy, so I get the pleasure of taking you upstairs. Oh my gosh, can you... Good morning. Hi, good morning. Hey, how was your weekend? It was good. I got to spend some time with my family. Hi there. You're in good hands with my friend Jim here. He's the best nurse we've got. Oh, seems like you have a good team here. Thanks. Take care. down there. The nurses don't want to walk that far. Why don't we put her in room 410? <sighs> can't believe they can't pick a room. Hey Jim, there is a room that just opened up down the hall that's right by the nurse's station. Why don't we put her in there? That way it'll be easier for her family to get to her and we can keep a better eye on you. Okay, we're on our way. Okay, Susie, 
Susie. My name's Tiffany. I'm going to be your nurse tonight. Thank you. Is it okay if I call you Susie? Yeah, that's great. I'm going to give you your call light, and if you need a staff member or one of the nurses, just hit, hit the red button, okay? Okay. And there's also a call light on your bed, okay? Thank you. Thanks. We're going to talk about report right here with you so we don't miss anything, and you can be included in the conversation. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. This is Susie. She Oh, hi Susie. I got here as soon as I could. The parking lot was completely full. I drove around for minutes just trying to find a place to park. I finally wound up parking across the street. Oh. The traffic was pretty bad. I almost got hit. I'm so sorry. Oh, Thanks for coming. Hey. Oh, hey girl. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I have your Girl Scout cookies downstairs in my car. Oh, you do? I can come get them tom or tonight after work. Well, you know what? We can go right after this. I'm parked right down in the front row. Don't tell Doug. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I'm the dietitian. I'm here to see how the food is. Oh, well, I'm really hungry, but this is terrible. Oh, you know, I'm really sorry. This is the cardiac diet you're on, and it's just not very flavorful. I'm sorry about that. The cardiac diet? Are you sure for me? You know, what I've heard is that they couldn't read the doctor's order very well, so this is kind of what you got stuck with, so I'm sorry. Is there anything else I can do? No. All right, thanks. Oh, hi, Susie. Mom. I got here as soon as I could. You know, they have this great shuttle service that dropped me right off at the front door. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Oh, yes. Of course. Knock, knock. Hi, Susie. My name's Lindsay. I'm the dietitian. I'm here to see how your food's been. Well, I'm really hungry, but this is terrible. You know, you're on a cardiac diet. It's designed to be low sodium for your current condition, so that's why it tastes a little bit different. But we add the Mrs. Dash in order to make it a little bit more flavorful for you. The cardiac diet? Are you sure? You know, actually, I'm not 100% positive. I'd be happy to go check the doctor's orders for you and come back and let you know what I find. That'd be great. Okay, is there anything else I can do for you? Um, no, thank you. All right, thanks. Hey, Lindsay, when you get a minute, um, can you give me a call? Yeah, sure, I'd love to. Thanks. Hi, Susie. I just spoke with your doctor, and he's going to be up in just a minute. He's going to review your test results, answer any questions you might have. Okay, that's... Uh, oh. oh. That's just one of our therapists. You know, when you're in the hospital, you never know how little your insurance or your gown might cover. <laughs> hey, Susie. I just talked to your doctor on the phone, and he's going to be on his way up here to talk to you. He'll answer any questions, review your labs and your tests with you. Oh, that's just one of our therapists. We have a variety of staff members here to help assist with patient needs. I can't believe Dr. White. He I treats know. the stuff like so crap. He's such a jerk. Um, uh, he is. Sorry. I don't want to call him My right now. Neither do I. Excuse me? <laughs> yes? My wife, she's um, in a lot of pain and she needs some medication. Okay, what's the room number? Room 410. 410? Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm not the nurse for that patient, but I'll find her for you and we'll get her right down there. Okay. I can't believe he said that, though. I don't want to call him. Okay, looks like the labs we need is the CBC, PT, PTT, Chem 7. Yes, how can I help you? My wife, she's in a lot of pain and she needs her medicine. Okay, can I get her name and the room number? Her name's Susie Smith and it's room 410. 410. All right, looks like Tiffany's taking care of Susie today. Um, I'll talk to her and see when her last pain medication is, and we'll be right down for you. Thank you much. You're welcome. So that's okay. Oh. I can get so, that. Thank you. We should really let you get some rest. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Why don't we go down to the cafeteria and get some coffee? Okay. Thanks. See you. See you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Pardon me. Yeah. Excuse me. Thanks, Mom, for being here. Oh, oh. Okay. I can get that. Oops. Well, thank you. Mm-hmm. We should really let you get some rest. Mm, thank you. Yes, well, Ian, why don't we run down to the cafeteria and get some coffee and okay. sleep? All right, thank see you. you later. We'll see, see you in a bit. Thank if you, you need any Bye. assistance, call housekeeping. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Lost. Excuse me, could you tell us how to get to the cafeteria? Um, just follow these black dots and it'll take you there. 
banks. Mm -hmm. okay. How long do you think Susie's going to be here? I hope not for very long. Oh, no kidding. Can I help you find something? Yes, we're looking for the cafeteria. Sure, this way I'll take you. Thank hey, you. Jamie, I'm going there anyway. I can show them where it's at. Okay, thanks. Oh, thank, thank, you. You. Mm -hmm. thank you. Follow me this way. How long do you think Susie's going to be here? I talked to her doctor this morning. He said it would probably just be a few days. Oh, that's such good news. After taking part in this video, I've recognized my missteps, especially the unintentional ones. The point of this video is that interactions have impact, your interactions. The interactions can come across as compassionate, kind, and caring, or mistrust, confusion, and anger. We thank you for watching this video.